Welcome to Tabletop Battle and our How to X-Wing tutorial. As with all our other how-to videos, this will show you the basics of each game that we play, X-Wing in this particular case, and will let you follow the action in our future battle reports. This is what you need to play a basic game of X-Wing. Maneuver templates for different maneuvers, range ruler with short, medium and long range, maneuver dials for the ships and various uh, counters for different purposes. To begin a game of X-Wing you first have to purchase your fleet. A standard size fleet is usually 100 points. Uh, for that you can buy your ships, you can upgrade them with either special abilities, uh, upgrade cards like droids, weaponry, bombs, mines or even buy special characters. Like in this case we have a uh, Millennium Falcon with Han Solo as the pilot and a uh, X-Wing with Luke Skywalker. First we have the pilot skill which means how early you go in the turn. Then we have attack, primary attack, three dice here, three dice. This is agility which is two defense dice. Then you have three hull points and two shields. And then we have what actions the ship can take, and this one can take focus, and it can take target lock. And down here we have upgrades. You can have a skill upgrade, elite talent, and then you can have a torpedo, and you can have an astromech on this ship. And the pilot has a special ability. And whenever you take damage, first you remove shield tokens, because this ship has shield. And after all the shield tokens are gone, you start taking damage cards. And regular damage or face down. And when you take crits, you take face up. Okay, the uh, X-Wing game has four different phases. The first phase is the planning phase. This is where you choose the movement of your fighter by using the uh, movement dials. You choose your maneuver and you place the dial face down next to the ship it represents. The second phase of X-Wing is the activation phase. This is where each ship moves and performs one action in ascending order. If you look at the cards uh, at the bottom of each ship and at the relevant card that you will have on your table edge, you will see the pilot skill. So you move from the bottom and up. In the activation phase, each ship moves in ascending pilot skill. So here the lowest pilot skill is 4. So this ship removes its maneuver, which is a 2 bank right. We put this into the between the little knobs in front here. And the knobs in back slots here. So from front and to back. Then we will do an action. And we will do the evade action. Now the other ship is Luke Skywalker with pilot skill 8. So he's next. Revealing his maneuver. Which is a two bank left. Into the no knobs in front and into the knobs between the knobs in back. And he will do a focus action with this green focus token. Okay, the third phase is the combat phase. This is where each ship may perform one attack in descending order. In this case, Luke Skywalker is at 8, so he will go first. Now Luke Skywalker has three attacks listed on his card, but being at range 1, he gets one additional die for his shooting attack, which gives him a total of 4. So let's see if we can hit anything. That is two critical hits, one regular hit, and a focus. Now we can spend the one focus that we've got to switch this into a hit, so we'll do that. So that is four hits for Luke Skywalker against the TIE Fighter. So now the TIE Fighter has to defend itself. and It has an agility, the green number here, of three. So I get to roll three defense dice. Let's see what I get. Well, that's one away. That's good. A focus, which would have been good if I had a focus token, which I don't. 
and one blank. I'll just remove this one. Then I cry a bit over this one. Then this one, the weighed result, will remove one hit. You remove hits before crits. And, oh, let's see here. A weight token. That counts as a successful evade result on a die. And removes another. But we take two critical hits. When you take damage, you usually take a damage card and take it face down but when you take criticals like this you do them face up and you follow the instructions on the cards anyway this ship has now taken two damage out of the three hull points it has the yellow is the hull points so it has just one hull point left but it's still fighting and now it's the tie fighters turn to fire back it's still alive we are down to pilot skill 4 ships are firing. It has two, uh, the number 2 here in red, which means it has two attack dice. And still being at short range, we measure from the closest point to the closest point. I also get an additional die, so I get to roll three dice for attack. Look at that, an entire hit. Okay, so Luke Skywalker gets to try to defend himself. Luke Skywalker has an agility of two. That means I get two dice to defend that myself with. And what do you know? I evade. They're gone. So no damage taken by Luke Skywalker. Okay, so we've uh, moved on in this fight. Uh, we're now in a position where Luke Skywalker is going to fire again. Uh, but this time he's firing at range three, which is long range. Uh, what are those strange tokens? These tokens? Yes, those that tokens. is Luke's uh, alternative action that he can choose, which is target lock. That lets you re-roll one or more dice. So the ship with the blue target lock can re-roll when shooting at the ship with the red target lock token? Yes. Okay, so no bonus for Luke at firing at range 3, but the TIE Fighter will get an additional agility die. Luke has three attacks, as before. Let's see what he gets. That is, well, three miss. It's a focus, but I don't have any. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to spend my target lock to re-roll all of them. Which gives us one crit and one hit that the TIE Fighter has to save himself against. Yes, since the range is long, like this, he's in the three band here. He gets an additional defense time, so he not only rolls 3, but 4. And this time I have a focus token I learned from last round. Let's see. Oh, that's 2 blanks. And I use my focus token to turn this into an await. And the one await removes one hit, and another removes the crit. Nothing happens. And now we are down to pilot skill 4 and the TIE Fighter is shooting back. Look at this, the range is still 3. Uh, the TIE Fighter has 2 attack with his primary attack. And that's just a crit. Okay, so Luke is going to defend himself against the 1 critical hit. Now he has 2 uh, agility dice, but at long range he get a bonus 1. So 3. What do, you, what do you see? We got 2 dodge, I only need 1 to negate the hit. Okay, so we've completed the third phase, which uh, was the combat phase. We now move on to the end phase. Now, in this uh, case, we assume that none of the ships fired and none of the ships used their tokens. At the end phase, you remove all green tokens that are left. Okay, so that was a complete game round of X-Wing, taken through all the phases uh, of the game. And this is all you need to play a basic game uh, of uh, X-Wing with no upgrades. Now, there, as I said, there will be upgrades, there will be special pilots, special skills, more tokens, upgrade cards, you name it. Various stuff available in expansion packs that will alter the gameplay, but this is the pure basics. So now you're ready to go play.